Yo, what's going on, people? Shadow Soul Seven Twenty here, and today we have a battle against uh, Uga the Gamer. There we go. I knew it off the top of my head. <laughs> we're going to choose Powerful Music Twenty One. We're going to go with this battle box because we're having an OU Pokemon battle today. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if this like face cam line here like lags a lot compared to when I'm speaking because it does, and I don't know why it does today, but it didn't the other day. So. You know what? Here, have a look at my bottom screen, if you can see it. Um, here we go. There you go, guys. Now you know what I'm bringing. <laughs> so, my opponent's bringing the Mega Gallade. I'm get. Oh, it could be Mega Gardevoir. Probably Mega Gallade. A Gardevoir, Greninja, uh, Noivern, Salamence, and Charizard. So you know, it could be even like three dragons right there. We just don't know. Actually, I don't know what the Mega is. <laughs> Alright. Either way, I think... Rock Basher is a pretty nice lead. Usually. Um, although the Gardevoir does scare me out a little bit. I mean, I've got Rock Basher anyway for the Gardevoir. Uh, the Glade, though, is scary. I don't know what I'm really going to do with that. Maybe just switch out to, like, Great Blue. I do have Charizard, and I do have Boop, so I'm in good shape. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. Boom. So that's how much lag I have. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry about that. <clears throat> so, you see who just send out Alucard. The Noivern. Let me think. I've seen his nickname before and I don't know where. But it's a Black Butler reference. Because, you know, <laughs> he's like a vampire. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just straight up fake out because I'm expecting like a hurricane. You get the poison touch off, which is amazing. And that's exactly the reason I have fake out, so I get extra hits in. Hit by poison. Now what do I want to do here? I could go for a trade-off. You know what? I might just do that. I'll see if I can knock it out. If I can't, it should faint this turn, I'm guessing. Or next. Boom Burst. Alright. So we're eating that up. Hit by Poison. Um, I might as well just go for Sucker Punch. He's going to faint to the poison anyway this turn. Uh, I could have switched out to something else, I guess, but I will. Yeah. If he had Tailwind, that would be the turn to go for it. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, so Alucard gets taken down by Brock Basher, which is nice. So Glide comes out and this thing's scary. Don't really know what I want to do. I think I'll just go out to Great Blue. I'll get my uh, Garchomp out here. So I just finished EV training this Garchomp. <laughs> it's taken ages, but I finally did it. Lick Blade. Oh, that's neutral. Rough Skin. Wait, why would you go for Leaf Blade on a Toxicroak? Well, it's all good. Because we've got Rough Skin, Rocky Helmet. And, I mean, I guess Earthquake's my best bet. So he's going to switch out, probably to a Flying type. No, Greninja. Alright. Well, oh, it's, it's a Black Star one. <laughs> oh, nice. So Earthquake's going to do a lot of damage, not enough to KO, unfortunately. Um, and what item am I running on you? Oh yeah, okay. So at this point, I feel safe enough. I, I don't... Th oh, okay, he's going to just grab up switch. Go to Charizard to maybe resist an EQ. But I wasn't going to go for EQ twice. <laughs> but I don't know how I feel about my position anymore though. Because I could Drain Punch if it's an X. Um, I really don't know what to go for. 
He hasn't Mega Revolved any Pokemon yet, I don't think so. I'm guessing this might be his Mega. Um, what moves do I have in here? I mean, this is like... That won't do it. <laughs> I was going to switch to Garchomp and risk maybe a Dragon Claw or something, but I won't do that. So Porygon 2 is going to come out. And Trace... Blaze. Oh, I should have waited. <laughs> I actually wouldn't have mattered. So it's Charizard X. So we've, we could have gone for a Drain Punch. But to be honest, I was more scared about why. Oh, actually, no, nah, it's pretty even between them both. So we're going to see Earthquake. It's going to do a tiny bit of damage because Porygon 2 is super bulky. Oh, we're just going to go for a straight up stab try attack. See if we can get a lot of damage off. Maybe get the. Uh, what is it? Like 30. 10, 10, 10 percent chance to get a status. Fire Blast. It's going to do a fair amount. I guess. Considering it's Porygon 2. Try attack goes off, no statuses, not this time. We might as well recover here just because we can. Dragon Claw comes out. That's almost gonna KO us. But at this point if we really wanted to we could just recover store. You know what, I might go for it once more. If he wants to predict that and go for a switch, that's fine. Goes for a Dragon Claw. And okay, so we're gonna have a bit more HP now. Sweet! I don't really see the point in going for another one. I don't really care about full HP that much. It's a bit predictable, so I'm just gonna go for Tri Attack and see what we can do. I mean, if we get like maybe max damage, if it was min damage last time, we should be able to knock out this Charizard X. So now, Booger's thinking. I'm guessing about what to do about this Porygon. Maybe he's looking at his options, seeing if he has like any fighting type moves. Or maybe knockoff. His knockoff would help a lot too. I'm just looking at the PP up usage. <laughs> Hall of Fame entered one time. Oh. Dang. I wanted to see Uga's time. So we've got Salamance here. A green one. Alright. So tri attacks gonna hurt. I mean this thing could have focus blast or something. I'm just gonna go for the ice beam straight up. I'm not gonna overpredict it. Actually this could be no, hang on, he, he already mega revolved. I just noticed like every Pokemon of his can mega revolve. Hmm. But you can only mega revolve once per battle, so that's not gonna help him too much. Although a lot of these Pokemon are powerful on their own. Like Salamence should be like oh you anyway, I'm pretty sure. It's Mega Forms banned. Charizard X and Y, I'm pretty sure they're both OU as well. Um Gardevoir It could be UU, -U, I guess. I'm not really sure. I mean Trace is always a good ability if you want to have that one though. And I guess if you're a bulky variety variant, you might want to have, um, what is it, Synchronize. So we're going to get the Ice Beam off from the sh Shiny Salamance. And the Mence is going to go down. Because that's all fun. Now we're just sitting here with our Duck. Like, if you don't have a solid counter for Porygon, and normal types, like Kangaskhan and stuff, stuff you got to have a really difficult time in battles. That's what I've picked up on. Uh, so... This Gardevoir is still really scary. I can't really switch out to anything. So I might as well just recover, see how much damage it wants to do. Shadow Ball. Well, okay. Now we're going to go for this try attack. See what we can do with this. 
hopefully something. Focus Blast. Okay, so there's a fighting type move I was talking about. So we're going to do a little bit of damage, but now that now that we know there's a focus blast, and unfortunately for my opponent, they missed. Um, I still don't really have any safe switchings. I think, as risky as it is, I'll go into Brock Basher because as long as my opponent doesn't go for a psychic, I should be able to fake out. Maybe Sucker Punch or just be able to outspeed normally. Hyper Voice. Alright. Yeah, Hyper Voice is too strong. <laughs> I'm not living that one. But I think I'm in a lot better position with Chara Slash out here. Because my Charizard should outspeed Gardevoir every day of the week unless Gardevoir is Mega. <coughs> so. Yeah, and that's before Mega Revolving as well. I'm sorry guys, <laughs> the audio is probably being terrible quality. Let me fix that. I apologize for that. It was super loud and I had no idea. Alright, so... Charizard vs Charizard. That was a really good switch on my opponent's part, because that Charizard resisted four times. Although we have a secret ace, it could come down to a speed tie because we're both the same speed tier right now. Um, I think we're both base 100 speed, so that's a fact for you guys. So if there's any Pokemon like High Dragon, we, we're going to outspeed them, we're going to lose to things like Garchomp. That's important to keep in mind, especially if you're running Charizard. Actually, either Charizard, it's important to keep in mind that you can get outsped by Charizard. I mean, um, Garchomp. So, Gallade's here. And now we've revealed our ancient power. <laughs> we don't get any stat raises this time, which is fine. Um, and this thing's not mega. So, a flamethrower should be able to just finish it off. I believe. If it was Mega, it would be a different story. <laughs> yeah, actually, the Mega variant. Variant? The Mega one. <laughs> it actually outspeeds Charizard as well. Because it's got base 110 speed. And Glades are just. They're a pain to deal with. <laughs> if you don't have any ghost type moves, or f like strong flying type moves, it's just bad. But in the sun, you know, a flamethrower is a good idea because it was low on HP. So Gardevoir's here. We ha we know it has Focus Blast, <laughs> Focus Mirrors, um, Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball, and I think that's all we've seen really. So my best bet's now just go for like a stab flamethrower in the sun, and we're max special attack, so it should do a lot. I've seen some people run HP in their Charizards um, in VGC. I'm not really sure if that's going to help too much. Uh, maybe to survive certain hits. I have no idea. <laughs> so the flamethrower is easily going to be able to take out this guard of war, which is cool because Charizard's just too strong sometimes. I mean, Aerodactyl beats it every day. Every day, though. <laughs> There's no contest there. So Greninja's coming out. Alright. Yeah, I think our Conkelda's a really good switch. Just because at the moment we've got a Assault Vest on it. Yeah. And we should be able to eat up an Ice Beam and hit it for a Mock Punch, which is going to be super effective. Unless it goes first and has Shadow Sneak. <coughs> That's the only thing I'm really scared of. If it has Water Shuriken or something, though, it's fine. 
Or if my opponent wants to switch out. I don't know what their last Pokemon is though. Sweet, so Greninja goes down. From a crit. <laughs> I swear you always get useless crits at the end. Not that it really matters though, because, you know, like, Haxless battle is better than one where you die all the time. So his last Pokemon was the Charizard. Which it has Fire Blast, Dragon Claw, and some other stuff. So I don't know how well we'll be able to take a Dragon Claw. Let's just go for a Mock Punch. Because Mock Punch and... Oh wait, Toxic Croak gone. I was going to say Fake Out. Alright. Well, it's fine. <laughs> We've already seen that Porygon 2 can take some hits. So guys, don't forget to check out his channel. Um, hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll say that in a little bit. No, it's okay. We lived it. I wasn't sure if we would for that one. Just because I have Tough Claws and it's Dragon, it's Stab, it's, it's lots of things. So we're finally going to take down this Charizard. This shiny one. So guys, remember to check out uh, Oogla Gamer. Oogla something gamer. Hang on. Let me look it up. Oogla the gamer. Oogla the gamer. There we go. Anyway, I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can find that. And he's, you know, he seems pretty new. Especially because his mascot's based off the Splatoon games. He's got maybe seven videos up or something like that. Maybe ten. He's got 33 subs, so go sub to him. <laughs> He's doing some good stuff. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this battle. And if you guys want a chance to battle me, send me a tweet on Twitter. <laughs> go for it. If you want like a specific tier battle as well, then tweet that out to me as well. And I will try and do my best. So without further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Leave a minty fresh like down below. I'm Shadowstar 720 Bye. That one.